Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, today is kind of a little bit of mishmash uh, what we're going to talk about. I've been asked uh, quite a bit lately about what add-ons do I use for Blender. And I'm going to show you that real quick. And then I'm going to just show you something that's uh, kind of new with Blender 3.1 and above. Actually... Blender 3 and above, but uh, they're currently in 3.1 and 3.2 alpha has come out. But let's show you a couple things on add-ons and the basic add-ons that I use. All right, so let's go to edit. Do I have screencast on? Let me see. I do have my screencast on, which is good. All right, so let's go to edit preferences. And you guys know that I did a video just recently, I think last week on CAD Sketcher, which is a fantastic add-on and I see it gonna get better and better um, with feedback from the users. But this gives us those CAD tools um, to work to use in our modeling all right you guys uh, I did a I did kind of a copy type of video uh, last week I used the same kind of format that the CAD sketcher people use to introduce their product um, but in upcoming videos I'll be actually showing you know, the practical use uh, of the tools in our modeling all right so if you uh, forgive me on that last video it's it wasn't one of my best but I wanted to get that word out about the CAD sketcher add-on um, but we're going to be using it later on in videos showing you really how to use it all right so anyway I do have CAD sketch CAD sketcher installed this is a third party add-on so you have to install it all right and I show you how to do that in the previous video so I have it always enabled I also have extra objects uh, add-on and this comes with blender so all you have to do is come up to the find type in extra and you'll get to the add curve and add mesh for the extra objects uh, that allows you to work with vertices uh, and add vertices and and do a bunch of good kind of cool stuff and add shapes and stuff pre-made shapes um, I like it because I use the vertice tool all the time but what I also like is the pipe connection objects because uh, if you're doing like uh, oil refineries and, and plumbing on tops of buildings and things like that, you don't have to try to model a pipe and try to make all the different connections. You can just select a pipe elbow, give it a size, orientation, and you can actually build your pipe line across. And you can use it for uh, radio towers and things like that 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 are using round pipe and stuff so I use the extra objects add-on like I said comes with blender you just have to enable it I also use the Archimesh um, add-on that again comes with blender and that allows you to add architectural features to your model such as windows uh, doors uh, staircases all all the different types of tools you can use for that you can see extra objects is there for the mesh and then I think there's one really important one and that is the Asobo uh, exporter for flight for blender 3.1 and they have uh, in the last week 10 days or so they released um, version 1.16 that myself and many other users have given feedback of the product and the developers um, 
are fantastic We're working with us and making those changes in the exporter so the exporter is getting better and better all right so i think i'm at the point where i'm going to be using this exporter from now on rather than using uh, an older version of blender and the blender 2 ms fs add-on uh, they fixed the lights, they fixed uh, how lights are exported, they, they fixed how uh, LODs are exported, and a bunch of other stuff. You can check their, there's a link in the description on where to get the Asobo exporter, and I would look at the change logs, uh, but the ver current version is 1.16 something <laughs> okay well actually we can find out here by doing this down this pull down yeah 1.1.6 1 .1 all right and here is a list of the developers that have been working fantastically with all the users and uh, getting some changes and, and enhancements and fixes to it okay and I think that's pretty much it really oh bool tool the bool tool extension comes with blender you just have to enable it and uh, i use booleans a lot when i'm making shapes uh, like for instance if i have a cube and i want to make a hole in it based on a cylinder uh, you select one and then you add a boolean modifier to it and it will extract the one shape from the other or add the one shape to the other all right bool tool allows you to uh, make a lot of those assignments with hotkeys all right so i have that turned on so like if you wanted to cut a cylinder from a cube you select the two objects and just hit the uh, control minus and it will automatically delete it all right it's so it speeds the boolean modifier up okay and that's pretty much what i have uh set of course i have screencast but that's only if you're uh doing what i do on youtube all right so that's basically the setup of add-ons and when you have the cad sketcher you get this extra uh set of tools and we'll be using those more and more in future videos okay the other thing that I like about uh, blender 3.1 is now when you use these MS FS parameters specifically glass you can now see your glass as you basically model it before in blender 2.9 using the blender to MS FS extension as soon as you selected an object and assigned it MSFS glass, it would totally disappear. You wouldn't see what it would relatively look like going to the sim until you went into the simulator. But now you actually get in the shade uh, uh, viewport shading, you get an idea of what the glass is going to look like. So you can kind of see that it's in this example I have kind of a brownish color to it and you can and the transparency that I have set which is the alpha channel so if I come over here to the alpha channel I have a 0.2 transparency for this glass all right you kind of get an idea of what that transparency looks like you can kind of see the orb the green emissive orb that I have inside that cube okay and then over here I have a more transparent glass uh, with not really a color okay and then this on this face I have kind of a frosted glass so that's what I like about the new blender 3.1 is I have a better representation of what my glass is going to look like so in future videos I'm going to be uh, doing more with the glass uh, showing you more characteristics of the glass but uh, like for instance if um, if I select this glass and go to the properties 
uh, down here to MSFS glass and I want to give it more of a yellow color to it I can add that yellow to it all right and play with play with the alpha channel to get that to be see my alpha channel is at uh, 1.0 but if I change it to 0.1 I can still I you may not be able to tell on my screen but there's still kind of a yellow hue to it okay and in previous versions of blender you didn't see that it was completely transparent all right so you can play with your alpha channels and you can it models the glass a little better in blender so you kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like in the sim but not exactly all right it's not going to be exactly the same so you're going to have to play with some settings um, the other thing that i like is that the auto generate the um, auto refresh works a lot better now so if i'm in the sim and i make a change um, I can select all my objects, come over to the exporter, and just click export, and it does update in the sim. So uh, that's a lot. That's a lot better than what what has been in the past. So there's some great changes that are happening in Blender. Um, they give us more tools for glass, and I'm going to show you those in future videos all right so really i'm not going to take too much time too much of your time today uh, i do want to say hey good luck with the uh, pmdg 737 that's being released today this is may 9th 2022 um, i can't wait to see some of you guys's videos on a lot of the uh, flight simulator groups on Facebook on using that new aircraft um, I'm gonna wait a few I'm gonna wait a while before I download it like I said I don't do a, a lot of piloting uh, the piloting that I do is to test my scenery and stuff but I really look forward to seeing uh, how you guys like the new 737 700 that's come that Come, that's being released today and I believe in the United States it's like uh, what is it $69 $69.95 or something like that okay and I'm sure they're doing a promotional thing so um, in a few weeks it's probably going to go up to about 75 bucks but anyway enjoy that new Boeing aircraft I know there's a lot of Airbus people on this channel I appreciate you guys uh, subscribing. If you haven't, please do. I'm only 50 some odd people away from being a thousand. Uh, you guys are fantastic for sticking with me. Thank you for everybody who's buying me coffees at buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. Um, so in the next i'm i'm in the planning stage right now of future videos uh we're going to be doing some glass we're going to go back and work on that timken uh finish that timken hangar at akron airport akron canton airport uh so uh, I, I got some animation videos that i'm i'm putting together uh oh by the way i do want to promote somebody else's video Frederico uh, has put out a great video on creating a windsock. So you might want to check him out. Uh, he does he does a great job. But he shows you some about animating uh, using bones and stuff for an animating the windsock. But I'm going to show you some videos on doing some other animations. So stick with me, hit the notification bell for updates on videos. Um, I appreciate you guys coming back and watching these videos. You guys are fantastic. Hey, I wish you best flying. Enjoy that new uh, 737. And I will see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys later.